Situated in the heart of Bradford city centre, the Alhambra Theatre is the North premier receiving venue. Hosting the best in large-scale entertainment, from international dance to musicals, drama and Yorkshire's biggest pantomime. But what goes on behind those grand curtains and what does it take backstage before we get to see the magic on stage? It's an exciting time for everyone when the wagons transporting the show arrive. This can range from one wagon up to 23. Some shows arrive early in the morning, around 7 or 8, and open that very evening. Others can take two or three days to build. Then there are a few that could take nearly a week to build. You may have seen the wagons parked up for unloading and the large flight cases being taken through these doors. The Alhambra Theatre is built into a hill, so there's an additional complication around building a show in that everything that goes on stage has to be taken down on a lift. The lift can also be used to transport animals onto the stage, and we've had a variety of those over the years, from horses to dogs and, of course, the panto cow. Most of the shows that tour into the Alhambra Theatre put down their own floor, so it's very rare to see the Alhambra's own stage. It's also sprung on rubber squares, which means that for dancers it gives a little when they jump or leap, so they don't damage themselves. As well as scenery, some shows have a lot of lights to rig, the Alhambra Theatre has 144 lights which can be used as part of a production. When Rambai was with us in February 2020, they had 18 bars of lighting up in the air, which is the most we've had in the last 10 years. The lighting and scenery are hung on these flying bars. These work like large kitchen scales. Whatever weight we put on the bars, the same has to go in the cradles, which are at the other end of the wire, so they can fly out. This is the grid. It is 18 metres above the stage and it is where the weights are counterbalanced for the flying system to work. A telescope or genie is used for focusing the lights over the stage once the set is in place. Some are automated these days but others we still have to position physically. Not to the job if you're afraid of heights. Some shows have so many costumes we have to have extra plumbing and power put into this area as they tour their own washing machines, dryers and even the sewing machines. Costumes are toured in cardboard skips or trundles. The trundles open up and all the costumes are already hung up inside in order and ready for the cast to use for their changes within the show. As you can imagine, the cast spend a lot of time in their dressing rooms. We wonder how many famous faces have had their makeup applied looking into these mirrors. On a Saturday night, or the last performance, as soon as the last note is played, the last word is spoken, and the curtain calls have been taken, sometimes even before the audience have left the auditorium, the crew are waiting in the wings, ready to start dismantling and packing the show back into the boxes and onto the wagons. This is what we call the get out, and it usually takes place overnight. The usual start time is 10pm, after the end of the performance. For a play, it will probably take the crew until 1am to get the show out of the venue. For a standard musical, it will be about 4am. And for some of the bigger shows, it could take two days with crews working 12 hour shifts. And when the show has left the stage, it's swept, mopped, and we're ready to start all over again. <laughs> 